guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. This one is going to be a what's in my bag. So if you saw my what I got for Christmas video, the link to that will be in the description box if you are curious. Um, if not, it's just a few videos back. I got a new handbag for Christmas and I have been using it non-stop. In a few weeks, once the excitement of having it calms down, I may end up changing it and going back to my normal everyday bag, but for now, this is the bag I'm using. I love it, and I thought I would just show you the stuff I keep inside it. It's been a few weeks now, so I just thought I would film this video for you. If you guys are wondering, this is the bag. It is huge, um, but it looks like this. And the back is obviously the same, it's just plain. But it is emerald green, it is from Colette. And I believe it's called the Gladiator Roman Bag or something, I'm not entirely sure. It was limited edition and I am in love with it. So it has the like smaller leather hand, the small handles or it's got the big strap. I just use the big strap. I hate carrying handbags like with little handles like this. I feel like a five year old pretending to be a grown up when I do that. There's no pockets on the front or anything. There's just one big zip at the top. There is two smaller pouches on the inside just here. Don't know if you guys can see but I don't have anything in there. And there is just one zippered pouch in the back but the rest of it is all just that one big pouch. So. Without further ado, here we go. In those two pouches though at the front, one of them fits my phone perfectly. My phone's just currently not in there at the moment. It's on my bedside table charging, but if not, um, if I'm out and about, it is in there. And also, uh, you know, it doesn't go with like this dress that I'm wearing today. So if I'm going out with this, I will either just swap it to a handbag that it matches or I will just grab my wallet and my phone because my wallet is black. So it just goes with everything. Um, but that, and then I will just go through the little pouch at the back that has the zip so I've got a little nail kit this one I got for Christmas a few years ago um, I've taken the tweezers and the scissors out of it the scissors I actually use just to cut my false eyelashes because I don't use them on my nails I mainly just use it for the nail clippers but I don't like just letting them roam free in my bag um, I keep these in here because if I am at work or something like that um, I've actually these have come in handy so many times I've been out in public and I've either broken a nail or I've been at work or something and realized my nails are way too long so this has actually come in very handy I just keep it in the pouch because I just it's so much easier and then in the back bit I just have some buscapan these are a um, like anti-spasmodic medication so if you have like a really bad upset stomach these are really good or if you suffer with um, like lots of spasms and cramps in your body that helps as well in here I also have my two work badges and then in the back there I carry a pen because it's good I just have this little bonjella which is like a teething gel type of thing uh, more for adults this one um, but I just use that because sometimes with me talking so much at work I get ulcers on my tongue uh, or things like that so this one's pretty old nearly empty but I just keep it in there and then a little thing of these Eclipse Spearmint chewy mints because if I am on a break at work and I've had some food I'm not going to go back out with partially smelling breath I will have one of those so they're good to have and then finally as well I actually do carry a little thing of dental floss this is just a normal size one but I carry dental floss because it annoys me so bad now when I get like something in my teeth particularly if I'm at work or somewhere and I get like lettuce or something in my teeth it annoys me so much so I actually went and just bought a dental floss thing and I keep it in my bag so that was it for that pouch the rest of everything just floats freely throughout the bag I kind of just filled this up with stuff I needed on the first day and I've just added to it haven't really taken anything away so this should be interesting but first thing is my wallet this is also from Colette I have no idea what's like what this one's called or anything like that pardon me but I just wanted a big wallet this is the one I got for my birthday I did not do a birthday haul because it just wasn't that great this year but um, my grandma got me this wallet um, I love it and obviously you know I'm just covering up my driver's license but it's got cards most of these are just loyalty cards because I'm not old enough or I am old enough to have credit cards and stuff but I just don't um, but the thing that I like is and then in the other pouches here I just got more loyalty cards because I I don't like putting all the stuff on my phone I like the physical card and then in the back bit as well what I really like is my phone actually fits in here 
Um, I then just have a receipt. A note my grandma gave me of something I need to get. A hair tie, a uh, five cent coin. My mum's card, because she asked me to get her something this morning. My Kmart gift card I got for Christmas. I don't believe I actually put this in the video, but I did get a Kmart um, gift card. It was, uh, this is a receipt again for, I have no idea, I think it's our supermarket. And again, another one for the supermarket. So I don't even know why I keep our receipts. I do keep receipts for normal things. Um, when I cleaned out my other handbag to swap things around, you should, you would have been so surprised to see the receipts I had in my bag. But there's also a zipper part in here that I actually just keep this little slip of paper. I'm not going to show you, but it actually just has the details for my roadside assistance for my car. I got it with like my, it came with my insurance and stuff like that for my car. So it's just the details because my stuff's in my dad's name. And then if I have any, I normally do keep some coins in there. I have a Christmas card in here, which is from my stepsister, her partner, and her daughter. I have this. Now, this is kind of huge, and it goes with me in every handbag I have, or my backpack. It honestly needs a wash. This is a microfiber cloth. You can buy them very cheaply. We have a pack. We use them to polish our glasses sometimes, or like I use them on my mirrors. Like I have microfiber cloths in like my car detailing kit, um, but I just took one we weren't using because I actually use this on my glasses. The actual little wipe things, that like the actual little towel things you get with your glasses absolutely suck. Since I've started using this, I can tell you my glasses are so much better to wear and everything. So I just clean my glasses on this. This honestly needs to be washed, that one, but I clean my glasses on that. My actual seeing glasses, I don't have them on at the moment. I don't like filming with them on because I find they do get a lot of the reflection on them, um, which they're not supposed to, but they do, and then I find you can't see my eyes. So, on, um, you know, I can't quite see too much at the moment. I have my work hat. I'm just covering up. The name of where I work. If you follow me on Instagram you'll probably see anyway but I'm just trying to minimize it but I have my work hat which that's actually my second hat because I don't know if you guys can tell or anything but we have the velcro at the back that goes under your ponytail. My first hat it melted and I don't even know how. I then have another receipt. I then have this little pouch. So basically this pouch has all the rest of the stuff in it that didn't fit in that zip up pocket in the rest of the bag. This one I got in a show bag from the Easter show a few years ago. It's like a little fake leather thing. It actually is very handy. Um, it's from the Style Co or something. I don't know. I just know that I have it. Um, so I don't keep too much in here. I normally keep a pair of headphones in here but I was using them. Hello Shadow. Hello. Oh, I'm getting a kiss, am I? Oh, oh hello. Oh, hi. So I normally keep um, some headphones in here and some bobby pins and stuff, but I was using them, so... Mm. Um, I also, I just have in here a card of Panadol Osteo because they're the painkillers that I take. They're great. Well, they're not the stronger ones. I normally take the Neuromol, but they're just the lower ones. My Nivea Hydro Care lip balm goes in here and I also just keep my little Calvin Klein perfume in here. I will switch it out with some of the other ones every now and then. This one is Euphoria, um, but I just keep it in there because sometimes I never know when I'm going to end up at a different place or something overnight and I'm going to smell or, you know, I feel like I smell at work. Sorry guys, had to change the angle a little bit. Um, but I just have my glasses case in here, even though my glasses live on my bedside table. Um, they're just, it's the case that came with them. They're from the Kylie Minogue range at Specsavers. So it's the case that came with them, but I just leave it in there when I need it. Look, I have another five cent coin. I think I've got like 30 of them. And oh, look, another one. I also have an apron here. It's my work apron because sometimes I work out the back, sometimes I work out the front. Depends if I'm in the kitchen part or not. Um, but I always keep one of my aprons in there just in case. I have this hand cream, Atlas Silks, I believe it is. My cousin got me a Atlas Silks um, pack thing a few years ago. This stuff is amazing. My mum has a couple of packs of these from her friends as well. It's like musky, rosy amazingness. Like sweet, um, alluring ylang lang, sandalwood, um, patchouli and mandarin, shea butter. 
um, and other stuff like that but it's just it just smells like musky rosy like really nice it is very strongly scented but it is a very nice hand cream my hands dry out a hell of a lot so um, I'm very happy to have this I've emptied another hand cream that I had this thing is so dirty but this is my portable charger so I know you can get ones that have like up to six full charges in them but I just have this one which could probably give my iPhone 11 maybe one one and a half charge but I just keep it in there in case of an emergency or something um, I my mum should have been given her phone charger back she should have given me my cord back as well um, I have a spare phone cord I was going to put the cord in there or just buy a cheap one so that way I have a spare phone charger or someone does um, I also probably was going was also going to put just a um adapter in there I've got so many um, but yeah this just a little bit of a, it's just a portable phone charger so I or charger in general so if my phone needs a top up which my iPhone 11 tends to not need a to top up at all but if it does it's there I have my sunglasses these are prescription these are ones I've had for about four years I'm actually going to go in a few weeks and get some new ones um, because I sat on these and this earpiece is kind of bent uh, um, out of shape and like it just doesn't work um, but I don't know if you can tell but this lens is super dark brown and this one's gone like really red and when I have them on I can tell the difference um, that one has faded a lot so um, I just need a new pair but they're their sunglasses I wear and they are prescription this is my neuromole medication that I take this is the stronger painkiller not necessarily stronger but this has also the anti-inflammatory property in it my foot only tends to hurt when it gets swollen you know, it hurts because it's it hurts because it's swollen and it's swollen because it hurts type of thing. Um, the Neuromol helped me a little bit better because I got a little bit more of that anti-inflammatory in it, like what Nurofen has. But I don't quite want to just take straight Nurofen all the time. Not that I take it all the time. I mean, it's been weeks since I actually took one of these. Um, you only take one, and it just they just work a little bit better. But the Panadol Osteo have more of that bone health stuff to help. Um, and before you say anything, yes, my doctor has told me I can take those ones. And the last two things, first one is this Lens Bright Lens Cleaner. This is just the bottle that I got of my, you know, with the spray stuff you can clean your glasses with. Every now and then, particularly when I'm at work, it gets the oil clinging to it, so I will need to use the spray. I don't keep repurchasing the spray from the optometrist. I obviously use up what the solution that's in here when I first get it. Um, but I actually fill this up with about that much with normal window cleaner, so your Windex glass cleaner, and then I just water it down. So sometimes up to about here with Windex or something, and then I, I fill the rest of it up with water. My dad has always done that, and that's what we do. It cleans my glasses just fine, but I've got the spray just in case. And then the last thing is a hand sanitizer. I since I started working I have become a big fan of hand sanitizer I never used to use it much because you know you can use it too much um, we are when I'm at work we are only allowed to use it five times each person is only allowed to use it five times in their shift um, the rule or something is five times in 24 hours of using hand sanitizer because after that it starts to become ineffective um, but I still keep a little one everywhere anyway because it is important um, and it does help as well. Sometimes, you know, if somewhere runs out of soap and you've just been to the bathroom and there's no soap in there, well, you've got hand sanitizer and it works. I'm not a germaphobe. I don't feel like I need to use it before I eat, after I eat and all those extra things that a lot of people do. Um, but I, I do use it and I think it is important. And I will only ever really buy like the Dettol ones. They don't smell particularly great, but I will really only buy these ones. I refuse to go, like, go to Bath and Body Works and buy all those good scented ones. There is a huge crow outside um, because they're just gimmicky and I don't think those ones actually really work so guys that is what was in my bag thank you so much for watching I know it was a bit of a rambly video but it was just a bit more of a casual one I can do so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye